It's been three weeks since I woke up here. Three weeks with no memory and no recollection of how I got here. It was just me at first, until I found Sky. Sky isn't her real name, of course. I started calling her that because of her eyes. They're blue, like the sky, always staring off into the distance as if she's searching for a memory trapped in her brain. I asked her how she got here. It was the same story as mine. She woke up, no memory, no idea where she was. I began to wonder how many of us there were on this island. We built a shelter on day six. It took three hours. We worked silently. There was a sort of unspoken knowledge between us. We knew what we needed to do, and we did it. On day nine, we decided to go out and look for some berries. That's when we found her. She wore an indigo-colored shirt with a tiger on it. Naturally, we called her Indy. Those boats you see all around us, we can't get to them. One step into that water, and an electric shock is sent through our bodies. We learned that the hard way. Today marks the 21st day of being stuck on this island. 21 days of not knowing where we are, not knowing who we are, and not knowing why we're here. We're trapped, abandoned, isolated. You may wonder why we haven't given up. It seems so simple. Just stop trying and let nature run its course. Our answer? Hope. Hope knows no fear. Hope dares to blossom even inside the abysmal abyss. Hope secretly feeds and strengthens promise. Hope is what we will hold on to until we get out of here. Because once we do, whoever or whatever put us in here is going to pay. <laughs>